I'm Dr. Ian Strawford, and I'm the Medical Director of Skin Excellence Clinics. Have you been looking for a non-surgical way of tightening your eyelid skin? Are you suffering with baggy eyelids or hooded eyelids or eye bags? And you're looking for a simple but non-surgical way of correcting those problems. Well, I'm going to talk to you in this video about a technique or a treatment called plasma or nanoplasma as is often referred to and how this is being used quite commonly these days around for eyelid tightening. I'm going to discuss how it works, whether it really is an alternative to surgical eyelid surgery, blepharoplasty. You know, what are the issues? Is it safe? Does it cause problems? Because I'm getting a lot of questions around plasma eyelid tightening. So stay tuned and I'll answer hopefully all of those questions for you. What is nanoplasma? Um, put it in a nutshell, plasma uh, treatments is actually just, is a thermal fractional uh, treatment, uh, skin treatment. Uh, basically, uh, plasma uh, is uh, a state of matter. It's a gas where the particles, the charged particles are opposing each other and effectively when an electric current passes through that gas it 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 passes through as a little bolt of lightning effectively so that's very similar to the, the same principle as the van de graaff generator you, you might have seen in the science museum it's effectively how lightning strikes the ground so it's a little pulse of energy passing through that gas when it hits the skin it releases that energy and it causes a very micro burn, a small burn. So that's a fractional burn. So this is a, a fractional resurfacing treatment, okay, using plasma uh, as a way to deliver that energy in a very precise way. We are using primarily plasma for eyelid skin tightening. And it's a way of, we know that when we um, burn skin, it will heal and it will heal and remodel tighter than before. That's what happens with the healing process from a burn. The issue with plasma is we want to be able to burn the skin in a small little micro dots and we're getting tightening around that those little dots of the treated skin and that will result in a, a gradual tightening uh, of the skin uh, hopefully to achieve the aim of shrinking the skin of the eyelids effectively rather than surgically removing that excess skin. How would nanoplasma help me? So if you're suffering with the laxity of the eyelids, at which the eyelid skin is some of the, one of the thinnest skin of the body, um, and it's one of the first to sh start showing the signs of aging. So you may start seeing lines and wrinkles. You may have the development of the under eye bags and the loss of elasticity of the skin, the loss of hydration. There may be thinning of the skin. So you may be seeing a little dark circle underneath uh, in the hollow. In the upper eyelid, you may be getting some hooding of the eyelid, the skin coming down. Uh, you know, from a woman's perspective, that may be making it more difficult to apply eye makeup or uh, those sort of things to highlight the eyes. So those are the sort of issues. So which the, the conventional treatment for excess skin of the eyelids is a surgical operation to remove that excess skin. It can be a tricky operation. There are risks and complications that can be associated with that surgery. Um, but the ultimate aim is to remove that excess skin. So these non-surgical methods such as nanoplasma or felt plasma have been around for quite a few years now as a way to sequentially tighten the skin. Uh, of the eyelids. Is nanoplasma painful? So obviously if we're burning the skin, which we are with plasma, even though it's in a very, very controlled way, that's that, you know, that can be extremely painful. However, we find that if we use a topical anesthetic cream, most people tolerate the procedure extremely well. What is the downtime uh, for the nanoplasma treatment? So following each treatment at the end of the treatment you'll see lots of little brown dots or crusts of of of, of carbonized tissue little brown dots almost like they've been painted onto the skin and that 
that is effectively like a little scab in those little micro dots. And they will take about four or five days in most cases, sometimes a bit longer for those little crusts to drop off. The skin itself will be quite red and there may even be some puffiness and some swelling of the eyelids. All of that tends to resolve over the next five to seven days in most cases, although the redness of the eyelids can take several weeks in some cases to settle completely, uh, occasionally longer. How quickly does nanoplasma work? So the effect of nanoplasma or plasma is that you will see an immediate contraction of the skin uh, as you're doing the treatment. Okay, but then that will be followed by some swelling that will negate some of that benefit. But once the swelling resolves and the, uh, the eyelid skin starts to re repair and rejuvenate, then there will be a gradual tightening of the skin. And that's usually evident after about four to six weeks after an individual treatment uh, with, with plasma. What sort of patient would be suitable for the nanoplasma treatment? So the patients who we see who are really suitable for this sort of treatment, the nanoplasma or the felt uh, treatment plasma, um, are the patients who've got mild to moderate eyelid laxity or, or eyelid hooding, eye bags, maybe lines and wrinkles uh, of the eyelid skin and around the eyes. They're the suitable candidates. Those that have quite more severe uh, hooding or eye bags um, are probably only going to get a decent result from surgery and they're probably going to be dissatisfied or need to have too many uh, plasma treatments to, to make it worthwhile to get to their point to where they're going to be happy. So, but we, we can help you and show you through the process of examination assessment as to whether we think you're going to be suitable for, uh, for, for eyelid tightening with plasma. But generally speaking, it's the sort of mild to moderate cases that we, we tend to find the greatest success rates with. How many nanoplasma treatments are needed? So to get to, it's a fractional treatment. So by that, we mean that when we're doing a plasma treatment, we're only treating a small percentage of the skin each time we're doing a treatment. Uh, if we treated a much bigger area of skin in one session, then there would be prolonged healing, prolonged downtime and, and much greater risk of complications. So we treat in a fractional way, in very similar to CO2 laser. And, but that does mean that we need more than one session. Most people need a minimum of three sessions, um, uh, usually a month to two months apart between each session. And then we reassess and see whether they need any further sessions or whether they may just need a maintenance session, say once a year, or we switch to another technology for a maintenance such as Tixel. How long do the results of nanoplasma last? The results of nanoplasma are quite long lasting. So usually when we've achieved a significant tightening of the skin, uh, then the results are usually maintained for quite a number of years. I mean, clearly in most patients, depends on, on the age and their lifestyle, the aging process will, will continue to progress. But if people use effective sun protection and protect the eyelids, using effective uh, eyelid serums to maintain the health of the eyelid skin, then you can slow down uh, that, that that deterioration and maintain the results for longer. Is nanoplasma a safe treatment? So nanoplasma can be a very safe treatment if it's undertaken uh, correctly uh, in the right sort of patient. So there are certain skin types where we may avoid this treatment. So much darker or pigmented uh, Asian or Afro-Caribbean skin are going to be much more susceptible to complications of pigmentation, hyperpigmentation, that's the darkening of the skin in the treated area. And that's well recognized in those skin types. And it really is not that sort of uh, treatment that would be safe in those patients. But in lighter skin patients, it's much safer. And that is a, a much less of a risk for those patients if they can avoid sun exposure uh, following treatment. Um, Obviously, if there is a, a risk of infection because you've broken the skin barrier with the treatment, so good hygiene and topical cleansing of the skin is really important afterwards. Um, with those bearing in mind, then on the whole, this is an incredibly safe procedure, much safer than a, a surgical procedure. Why choose Skin Excellence Clinics for nanoplasma treatments? 
So at Skin Excellence Clinics, we were one of the first in the UK. I was one of the first in the UK to start using the original plasma device, which was called Plexa, and more, more recently the nanoplasma devices. So many years of experience of using uh, plasma uh, in terms of selecting the right patient for the treatment is really, really important, as well as how that treatment is undertaken in terms of taking the right amount or treating the right amount of skin, not over-treating the skin, uh, which could cause more prolonged downtime and more risk of scarring and complications, um, but treating the, the right amount of skin to get it, in the end of the day, a result that the patient's going to be happy with. And I see many other colleagues who are often not medically trained, who are, who are getting these devices, which are off the, off, the, off, the, off the internet these days, and with very little, no training at all, are undertaking these procedures. And I'm seeing quite a lot of complications, unfortunately, from, from those uh, practitioners, uh, which is, is disturbing because it is a very, very good treatment that is perhaps being uh, affected by quality issues based on, on the providers of that treatment, which is a shame.